Hey, this is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic and I'm here to do a little bit of a K-pop weekly wrap-up sort of thing. I was doing these earlier in the year, but I decided to come back to them now that things have mellowed out, I've moved, things are mostly settled for the most part, and I have things that I want to talk about. So let's just go ahead and let's talk about them. So let's start with the fact that today there were a whole bunch of amazing releases that came out. So we'll start with NCT Dream and boom, it is off the We Boom album. And so NCT Dream, the lineup has changed a bit because for one, Mark has graduated and I believe one of the other members just, we're not, I believe that he's, hmm, yeah. I don't know the exact details because I was never a dreamy, I'm sorry. But, Boom is a really great song. Um, it's a little bit more mature. So as we've gone on, we had the chewing gum, which was really bright and poppy, and it's gradually become a little bit more mature. And I personally prefer this kind of sound, and Boom is a good song. I really enjoyed it upon first listen, and I was really impressed by it. Um, I do believe that many of the Dream members are graduating very soon. Like at the end of the year, I know Hei Chan is going to. Um, and I think like, three of the other members are also going to be graduating along with Hei Chen, if I remember correctly. So that's going to be an interesting dynamic going forward, seeing who's going to fill in the other spots. But um, yeah, I definitely do really like this track. So kudos to NCT Dream. So next I want to talk about Wu Sung. Wu Sung is part of The Rose, but he released his solo entitled Face from the album Wolf. And yeah, I listened to Face and I immediately loved it. Like even the instrumental, just just listening just to the backing track that it has, it's really great. Not surprised because you're getting this from a person who is part of a band, but um, I was a little shocked that he went for an R&B sound instead, but it was really, really well done. I really enjoyed the song. Um, and yeah, it was just... It was impressive to hear a song that that, that sounded just that good. It was one, it almost instantly started and I was down for it. And next I'm going to briefly speak about Kang Daniel and his latest track. Um, the song is Mohe and it is on the Color On Me album, Color On Me I believe. Okay, um, so I've been listening to the album so far and I will say that so far I really enjoy the album. I haven't finished it. I've listened to about half of it so far. Um, but I do really enjoy it. Mohe is a really, really good song. I like it. I dig it. But no matter what, at this point, the fact that I like the song is is a huge plus for me because I think I'm going to go out and purchase the album because I want to go support Kang Daniel because of everything that's going on with him. He's dealt with so much drama and he's pushing through and his fandom is huge and I just want to show him support and show that... Yeah, there's a lot of people that companies can push down and stop and prevent from doing what they want to do, but there will be people who push back and I want to support Kang Daniel so that way he can succeed. Just like I will support Samuel when he finally does it once he's at that place. But let's support Kang Daniel because he broke free and I want him to succeed and from every indication from listening to this album, he's definitely my style. So in case you did not know, while I wasn't huge into 101, um, Daniel was my favorite. I did. He always stood out to me. He just always did. So I'm very happy to see him doing well and I want to see him succeed. Pretty much comes down to that. Um, so next we are going to talk about some Mama Moo. They've released a single. Um, it is just a pure single. There are no other tracks. It is, if you download the album, it is the single and it's instrumental and that is it. Um, the English title is Glean and it's a really good song. As soon as I listen to it, I immediately message my friend and I'm just like, this is great. You should check it out. I went to Twitter and I was just like, yo, guys, I will buy this album if it's an album. It turns out it's just a single, but I was enjoying Gleam all day yesterday. It's it's a really good song. It is my style. Pretty much for the most part, the songs that have been released this week, for the most part, at least these four that I've mentioned right now, are like 
my style and me, it's like, it's right there. It's right there. So I really love these tracks that I've mentioned so far. So next up, we have Six. I believe that's how you pronounce it. C-I-X. Um, and their track, Movie Star, off of their debut album, Hello Stranger. And yes, debut. This is their debut. Um, so... I wasn't, I'm not sure how many members were in the group, but I do know that two of the Treasure Box boys that did not make it into Treasure Box ended up leaving YG and they went over here and now we have six. And I am very happy for those boys that got free from YG. They really dodged a bullet in many, many, many ways. One in that, well, in case you did not know, Treasure Box itself is having an issue in that YG is super controlling and now that he stepped away apparently there were no plans in place for Treasure Box to make sure that everything is continued on and done because but we're not going to get into the issue with the Treasure Box boys and everything that is trash that is all YG we're talking about six right now and we're talking about the two boys that got free and they did they got in they left the company they joined a new company and now they are already debuting. Go them. The actual song actually threw me for a little bit of a trip. And I do like the song. It is the right kind of tone that I enjoy. But the actual song versus the MV really like threw me because with the MV, you get this kind of dark, more mature, edgier kind of look that you get. And the look of the MV is really, really great. But what throws me is that that's not when you listen to the song, it doesn't quite match up with the song. The song is lighter. I'm not saying it's like like super bright and poppy, but it's a lighter song. Like if you don't listen to it with that MV, you would have a completely different impression of the song. And it, it kind of threw me the first couple times I listened to it. But I do like the song. It is a lighter song and really enjoyable. And um, yeah, it, it's just it just throws me every time I listen to the song with the video versus just listening to the song. <laughs> um, and then finally, the last thing that I'm going to mention is XOSC, which is the subunit of Sehun and Chanyol. Um, So yeah, I haven't listened to the album yet. I need to. I know. I know. I've been slacking, but I have a problem, which I will mention with the final song of this week. Um, but I really enjoyed What a Life. What a Life is a super, super chill song. Um, it did miss a little bit of the edge that I really wanted from the song, but overall, I really loved it. So kudos to XOSC. I've still been jamming out to Unvillage, so I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, and finally, the last song that I'm going to mention was a surprise thing, and that is Lil Nas X. And RM, and yeah, you'd be like, why, why are you talking about Lil Nas X? It's because of RM. So together they released another, yet another Old Town Road remix. And this time it is called Soul Town Road. It has obviously Lil Nas X. And this time it features June. And yeah, it's really great. June is flexing his typical Nam June. I love language and being punny and really lyrically amazing. Nam, if you really look at Nam June's lyrics, Nam June is amazing at what he does. He likes to play with words and meanings, and that's exactly what he does. He's playing with words and their meanings between English and Korean, and it's just, it's, it's great. Um, it's only like a minute and 51 seconds, but I've listened to it way more than I ever should have. I'm going to stop though, but yeah. <laughs> It really surprised me that that it really just came right out of nowhere um and yeah so that's really everything that i mentioned wanted to talk about as far as the actual music releases in case you didn't know i have joined the x1 train um if you want to join future group orders go ahead and send me your email best on twitter send me a dm um but yeah i'm all in on x1 obviously i'm going to need to listen to music to know where they truly stand i'm ready to say that i am a stan i am a stan i absolutely love these guys they're dynamic and they're just fantastic and wonderful um and i'm really looking forward to the next five years 
but um, obviously I need music to know where they're truly going to stand on my list. Um, but if it is even remotely good, if it's enjoyable, I have a feeling there might they might rock it up there to become one of my alts. But let me know what you guys have been thinking about X1 or any of the songs or that I've mentioned through this video or heck. Anything that I didn't mention, I know there were other things that released, but these were the ones that stood out to me personally the most this week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.